Hello and welcome to episode one of the Lockdown Cupboard to Cocktail Challenge. Here I'm going to be making a cocktail based on the drinks collection plus the odds and sods in the cupboard and the fridge of my mate Rebecca Gray. I'm calling this cocktail the Old Roid after a mutual friend of Rebecca's and mine and loosely after Jane Austen and the Brontes. So I think uh, a theme of tea at the vicarage. So from Rebecca's lockdown cupboard ingredients, I've chosen some that I've got at home that have come fairly close to it. So well, Rebecca had uh, four or five gins on offer. We both have a 50 pound gin. Rebecca had a blood orange one. I have a blood orange fig and ginger and so on. Uh, I've chosen just a standard everyday Bombay dry gin to use for this. Now, if you don't have gin or you do have gin but you prefer vodka, it will work equally well with that. I think it would go particularly well with this uh, one I got from Marks and Spencer's, a garden pea and mint vodka. But back to the gin. So, Bombay London dry gin. You will need for this ingredient some gin or vodka if you prefer, some cucumber, about two inches, an inch and a half to two inches per person, scale it up as, as you need. You will need a cup of tea that you should make earlier and leave to chill and you'll need some soda. Uh, in Rebecca's case she's going to use a lime and elderflower soda, I'm just going to use plain soda which means I'm going to need to uh, sweeten my cocktail a little bit more. So the this recipe is just for, for one drink's worth, scale it up as you like, balance it and sweeten it to taste, make it as boozy or non-boozy as you like. This isn't prescriptive, it's making deal with what we've got in our cupboards. So, to start with, make a cup of tea uh, without milk. Uh, I suggest a mild tea. Rebecca's had some Earl Grey, I had some Darjeeling, so we've made that normal strength, taken the tea bag out and then chilled it in the fridge for a while beforehand. Uh, you can use a stronger tea if you like, but you'll probably end up needing to use less of it so as not to completely overpower the drink. But if you like Lapsang Souchong or, or Oolong or even a strong Yorkshire tea, go with what you like. So, uh, make the tea, sweeten it as you like when it's hot. I did with mine because I knew I was going to be using a plain soda later or not, depending to taste. Next, take your one and a half to two inches of cucumber, chop one normal slice off the end, which you will use later as a garnish. Chop the rest up roughly. It doesn't really matter how. And no, you do not need to peel it beforehand. Wash it if you need, but don't peel. Take a solid glass or other receptacle that you can crush things in. Dump the cucumber in. Take a little bit of your chilled tea to moisten and crush the crap out of it. Now, I'm gonna be using a cocktail muddler. If you don't have a cocktail muddler, you can use a pestle and mortar. I don't know which is a pestle, which is a mortar. If you're using something big and solid and marble like this, be careful with the glass. Cocktail muddler, so chopped cucumber, a little bit of tea, and crush it. Now in a minute, I'm gonna strain this. You can use anything you like to strain it, or you can choose not to strain it. It'll make the drink a bit cloudier, and maybe it might make it look a little bit messier. Whatever you like. So crush the vodka, crush the uh, cucumber with a little bit of tea until you think you've got most of the juice and the pulp out. It's very satisfying. And either tip it into or strain it into. I've got a fancy strainer, tea strainer, whatever you like, into a tall glass which you have filled with some ice. You'll see even that much gives you an inch and a half's worth of fluid around the ice in the bottom. Top it up next with your tea till about two inches from the top, inch and a half, two inches from the top, and add some gin. Much as little as you like, this is a drink for a person, it's a long drink. You could very usefully go a double measure. I'm only going to go a single. At that stage, give it a really decent stir. You've got a cucumber and tea at the bottom. 
the tea, the booze. You can shake it if you want. Yeah, why bother? The only point really of, uh, of shaking something is with ice to dilute some of the ice before you strain it. But seeing as we're not going to be straining it from the ice, there's no need to shake it. It's just an affectation. And then top it up with your soda. And like I say, in Rebecca's case, she's using a lime and elderflower soda, which sounds gorgeous. I instead of just using soda water. Now, seeing as this is gin, you could make this with a tonic. If you like that slightly more bitter taste, tonic is a good move. Top with soda, a very gentle stir. Slice into the lime for garnish. And if you've got a reusable straw, use a reusable straw. If you haven't, just drink it. And enjoy it in Costa del Backyard. So, why not try this yourself? Let me know how you like it. Let me know what twist you've, you've put on it yourself. Uh, and send a picture of your version of it. If you'd like to challenge me to your own lockdown cupboard to cocktail challenge, the details of all the stuff I need, that is photos and, and lists of the stuff in your cupboard, your fridge, and your booze collection, the details of that are attached to this video. Hope you enjoyed Rebecca. Hope you enjoyed uh, Anne, this drink named after you. See you all soon and cheers.